In this video, we'll learn how to create workspaces to customize Photoshop as per your workflow. We all use Photoshop for different purposes, such as photo editing, graphics designing, 3D designing, and video editing. Photoshop can do many things, and you are able to customize your own workflow in Photoshop. And you can individually deal with all the panels which you want to see or not see on your workflow. Depending on your work purpose, there might be some panels which you are never going to use, and you never need to see those panels. So you can create your own workspace depending upon what you're working on. Right now, I've got a default workspace known as Essentials. We can find workspace panels on the second top position of the window menu. And you can see here some preset workspaces designed for specific industries. Like if I want to work on 3D in Photoshop, then I'll select 3D in workspace panels and make all specific panels visible which are related to 3D and needed to edit 3D objects, such as 3D panel, layers, channels, properties, all these are related to editing 3D objects. Let's see more about Motion Workspace. If I wanted to do some animation, then this workspace is useful for that. In this, you can see Timeline Panel and some other panels which are needed to work with video and animation. Now go to Workspace and check out Photography Workspace, which is useful if we wanted to do some photo editing. It'll show panels which are related to photography purposes. These are all some preset workspaces, but now I want to create my own workspace because of my working methods. I already know which panels I need and which panels I don't need to work on. Look here. I have already created my own workspace called Guru99 Workspace. Select it and check it. In this workspace, I have some selected panels, such as Brush, History, Character, Layers, Channels, Paths, Adjustments, Swatches, and Color. Now let's see how to create a new custom workspace. So arrange all the individual panels as per your need. When you've done that, go to Window Menu, then Workspace, then click on New Workspace. Now give any name to your own workspace. Here you can save any keyboard shortcuts in your workspace and even menus you can set. You can keep visible only the menus you want in your workspace, then click Save. Now you can see your workspace is created. And if you're new to Photoshop, then it will take time to develop your habits and realize which panels are useful and which are not useful for the way you work.